This is Bill Higgins from the Jazz Development Team. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to configure the Common Project Administration application. These are the high-level steps I'll demonstrate. Let's start with server preparation. In this example, I've installed the CLM workbench to my home directory. Here you can see the basic directory structure. The next step is to configure a host entry in your host file. This host entry should be something other than localhost. As in the example documentation, I'll call mine CLM WB. Now I'm going to start my server. The first time you run your server, it'll probably take a couple of minutes to be ready. Now I'm going to create the initial admin user. I'll start by going to the Rational Team Concert Setup Wizard. Initially, you have to log in with admin, admin. I'll choose the custom setup and jump forward to step four. The public URL should be your host name, the port, and then the context root of the application. In this case, it's slash RTC. Create an initial user for yourself. And assign a client license of developer. I'm now going to quickly repeat these steps in the Rational Quality Manager and Doors RP setup wizards. The second time you can log in as the user you just created. Again, I'll configure the public URI. You have to recreate your user in RQM with the same values as you used in RTC. And give myself a quality manager professional client access license. Now I'm going to go to Doors RP. Keep these initial values. Log in as your user. Set the public URL to slash jazz. And create the user one more time with the same values as you used for RTC and RQM. And this time we'll take the author client access license. Click configure. And we're done. Now I'm going to create the OAuth consumers for CPA. In preparation for this step, I'm going to open two configuration files, cpa.properties and friends.rdf. Now I'm going to switch back to my browser and go to the Jazz Team Server admin UI and go to the OAuth Consumer Management page. Now I'm going to create a consumer key that will allow the Common Project Admin application to talk to the Jazz Team server. The consumer name doesn't really matter, just call it CPA. Secret is like a password, make it something secure and that you can remember. Now I'm going to click register. There's a second step. Edit the authorized key and select a pre-authorized user who is the user that you created during the initial user setup. And click finish. Now we can see that for the CPA consumer key, I have a pre-authorized user of bill and a trusted attribute. Now I'm going to take this consumer key value and put it into friends.rdf. 
So I change the consumer key to this value, and I'm going to enter my secret. I used a simple one for this demo. You should use a longer one. Now I'm going to repeat this process for RQM and RTC. I'll take advantage of the fact that they have the same basic URL structure. Now RTC. Again, create the consumer key, make it trusted, register it, and then add the pre-authorized user. And then enter the consumer key information into friends.rdf under Rational Team Concert. Now RQM. One last thing on friends.rdf. If you had changed your server name, you'd also have to update the host name in these root services and OAuth domain properties. Now I'm going to update the cpa.properties configuration file and the configuration page. Now if I switch over to the cpa.properties file, all I have to do here is really update the host name and uncomment the last line. Now because I use the out-of-the-box hostname of CLMWB, I don't have to make any changes, but if you used a different hostname, you will have to change them. So you update the front side URL, if necessary, the root services URL, and then uncomment this last line and update it if you need to. Now because I modified my cpa.properties file and friends.rdf file, I need to restart my server. Now that I've restarted, I'm going to go to the CPA configuration page. You need to set all of these properties for the CPA to work correctly. CLM server user ID is the user ID of the user you created at the beginning of the setup, and then his password. Now the rest of these all start with the same base and then have a different context route. So for JTS service use URL, it should be your base plus slash jazz. CCM base is your base plus slash RTC. QM slash RQM, RM slash RDM, and RM foundation base URL slash jazz. Okay, now I'm gonna save these. We're done with our setup. Now let's smoke test it by using the CPA. Go to CPA slash web, go to the templates page, deploy predefined templates, and validate that they show up. The last part of the smoke test is to click Create next to the Rational Workbench for Agile template. Give it a name, click Save, and validate that you get green checkboxes for all of the steps. Hover over each project and make sure that it shows up and that it has service providers for each of its links. This concludes the Common Project Administration Setup Demo. Thank you for your time.